Hey everyone, I am going to teach you about seventh chords. So these are kind of the basic seventh chords. Um, you have the major seventh chord, the dominant seventh chord, or the, you call it the major minor seventh chord. You have the minor seventh chord, the half diminished seventh chord, and then the fully diminished seventh chord. So in order to build a seventh chord, you'll need to know the major scale of the key that you want to build a seventh chord off of. So there's my C major scale. I'm taking the root, which is the first step of the scale, the third, the fifth, and the seventh. And so notice these notes all belong in the major scale. This is known as a C major seventh chord. Okay, I lower the seventh, it becomes a dominant seventh chord, or what we call a major minor seventh chord, and it's with a minor seventh. Okay, I'm gonna lower the third. Now it becomes a minor seventh chord. So it's a, a minor third and a minor seventh make it a minor seventh chord. I'm gonna lower the fifth. So now it becomes half diminished. So a half diminished seventh chord has to have the root, the lower third, the lower fifth, and the lower seventh. And to make it a fully diminished seventh chord, you double, doubly lower the seventh. So now it becomes a B double flat. So fully diminished chord, you have your root, your lowered third, your lowered fifth, and your doubly, double flat, double lowered seventh. Okay, I can do the same thing in D flat major. So I take the root, the third, the fifth, and the seventh. There's your major seventh chord, I lower the seventh. It becomes a dominant seven. I lower the third, it becomes a minor seven. I lower the fifth, it becomes half diminished. I lower the seventh again, it becomes fully diminished. Now I have minor third, minor third, minor third. I can do the same thing in D major. So root, third, fifth, and seventh. Um, major seventh chord, lower the seventh. There's my dominant seven or my major minor seventh chord. I lower the third. There's my minor seventh chord. And then I lower the fifth, I have a half diminished seventh chord, and then I lower the seventh again for a fully diminished seventh chord. Um, so I can do that in every single key. So E flat major, root third, fifth, and seventh, lower the seventh, right? So we got your dominant seven, you lower the third, you got your minor seventh chord, you lower your fifth, half diminished, lower the seventh again, you got your fully diminished. Uh, e major, root third, fifth, and seventh. So I take the seventh, that's this is your major seventh. I lower the seventh, it becomes dominant seventh or major minor seventh. I lower the third. All right, we get our minor seventh sound and we lower our fifth, half diminished, lower the seventh again, fully diminished. And you'll notice the tension in each of these chords. You know, it's like the, the major seven sounds very dreamy. All right, you lower the seventh, make it a dominant seven. And then you lower the third. Right. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more melancholic. Um, you lower your fifth. And, then, and for me, like the minor seventh and the half diminished seventh, are, are very similar, but in the in the half diminished seventh, you have that tritone, or you have a minor third built off of a, a off another minor third, and then in the dominant seven or in the um, minor seventh, you have a minor third, and then you got this major third. So it's kind of like it's a different. It's just it's just very different, but um, you don't have the tritone here. The half diminished, you do have the tritone, and then the fully diminished, you have two tritones. Okay, um, F sharp major, your major seven, you lower the seventh, your dominant seven, lower your third, minor seven, lower your fifth, half diminished, and then fully diminished. G major, root third, fifth, and seventh, you lower seventh, you have a dominant seven, you lower your third. seventh again you get a fully diminished seventh chord so those are the basic types of seventh chords